I love growing my own citrus trees. I have about 16 that I grow in containers, as well as one larger specimen that I grow in ground. Like all living things, they just want to flower, fruit, and reproduce. The problem with growing them in our climate, however, is that they're not cold hardy, and they require protection from freezing temperatures. In the process, they'll become a little bit stressed out. They may drop some leaves, and will also become more vulnerable to pests and disease issues. Welcome back to New Garden Road, where I share my love of gardening with you in a way that I hope will inform, inspire, and elevate you. Like this video if you like it, and subscribe to get notified for more gardening action. Container grown citrus trees have a limited root system and nutrients get depleted over time. These factors can leave trees weakened and unable to produce fruit once the weather warms up. This video documents my annual routine and offers seven tips for growing citrus trees in containers. Here's tip number one. Take them out of the greenhouse and get them some more sun exposure. If you overwinter your citrus trees inside, it's the same principle. They're gonna need some more sunlight. The time is now, you wanna get them out there and get them growing. Tip number two, prune away any dead limbs and yellow leaves. Remove those guys and put them in your compost. They're not really gonna be serving the purpose of growing for your tree. A lot of those dead limbs, you can do the scratch test if you want to, scratch on them with your fingernail. If you don't see anything green, then you know that's a dead limb. Use a nice sharp set of pruners, clean set of pruners, and make some good cuts on your citrus trees. Likewise, if you've got some yellowing leaves on those trees, they're not gonna be doing what they need to for the tree. And as you remove them, you'll be encouraging your tree to produce some fresh, shiny leaves. Yeah. Tip number three, protect the pollinators by removing any flowers from trees that are less than two years old. If you've got some newly acquired citrus trees from a local nursery, you want to keep them from flowering for about two years. This is going to protect the pollinators. In the state of Texas, all citrus trees are treated with neonicotinoids. That's a systemic pesticide to protect citrus trees and nurseries from pests and diseases that could really take hold and prevent us from having citrus trees in our backyard garden. So I know this could be hard to do for you, but think about the bees. Think about how much adversity, how they've had some decline, whatever challenges they might be, you're doing your part by being responsible. It's the right thing to do, y'all. You wanna protect the bees. Also, just think about it. Those young trees don't really have a big root system. They're not real mature. Oftentimes, they're only producing fruit every other year. So you really wanna give them some time to get established in their container. Give them some time to grow up. After about two years, those systemic pesticides will have run their course and diminished. That's gonna present a lot less danger to bees and other pollinators. And you're probably gonna start getting regular citrus fruit year after year. Here's tip number four. Inspect them closely for insect pests such as scale, white fly, and leaf miners. Get in there and take a good look. Use both hands. Get down on one knee. Look underneath the leaves. Look closely. Be thorough. Get to know these insects. You may have to do some research and look up what they look like at different stages of life. You're gonna see some different things on your citrus trees. Don't fly off the handle and remove stuff just because you see something. Make sure you know what it is. Put in some time and remove those insect pests if you can or treat as necessary. A lot of times after these citrus trees have been overwintered inside or in a greenhouse, due to the lack of light, white fly will come and take advantage. They're one of the most common insect pests on your citrus trees trees. Likewise, scale are very common and they can be easy to spot once you train your eye. Leaf miners are more of a cosmetic issue, but nonetheless, this is a great time to inspect for them and remove any affected leaves. Tip number five, take the time to remove any weeds. You want to remove the mulch, take a good look, Use a set of pruners if you need to and pull those out carefully. Throughout the course of the season, birds are gonna come along and they're gonna plant some things of their own in your garden. They're also gonna land on your citrus trees and do it. So that's why you might get some various things growing. Either way, you wanna stay on top of it. When you're growing citrus trees in containers, you don't wanna have any competition for nutrients down there. Last year, I lost one of my Kishu mandarins due to an invasive weed that established itself inside the pot. By the time I realized it, after fully neglecting my citrus tree, it was too late. I lost all the fruit, all the foliage fell off, 
and my tree didn't recover. All right, tip number six, y'all. This is a big one. You wanna amend the soil in your container. What's that mean? You wanna add some goodies. I recommend using a slow release, organic, high nitrogen fertilizer, something like cottonseed meal. That's what I'm gonna use today. It's rated as a 721 and it works great. It's slightly acidifying to the soil, which is great for a container grown tree. All that nitrogen is gonna to go to those evergreen leaves. And like I said, you wanna prune out any of those yellow leaves. This nitrogen is gonna give them a nice steady supply of nutrients to grow some more. You wanna add some micronutrients. As you water your citrus trees through the season, you're gonna wash out all those nutrients. You need to replenish them. Specifically, I'm talking about products such as azomite and kelp meal. I'm also using a product called Dr. Iron. That's gonna give it a nice slow release source of iron with a little bit of sulfur. That's really gonna help those leaves green up and be strong. Add some dry molasses. You're gonna be feeding microorganisms and beneficials in that soil, and you're gonna be building it as well. When you add dry ingredients, you're adding organic matter, and that builds the soil. Add some compost or worm castings. A nice thin layer, folks. If you got a really fine textured compost, that's great. A lot of times I use the Happy Frog soil conditioner. I really love that stuff. Otherwise, I might recommend earthworm castings. Black gold, I'm telling you what, I love that stuff. A nice thin layer, maybe about a half an inch, something like that. That's really gonna add a great deal of organic matter and biology for your container grown tree. Today, I'm doing something different. I'm adding Humate. Humate is a really rich composted product. It's a slow release form of organic matter. I like to add some dry Humate to my raised garden beds as well as my container grown trees and plants every few years. Again, it's one of those things that get washed out over time. And by doing this, you're really giving it a boost to get growing. Just remember, you can amend that soil in your container growing citrus tree throughout the growing season, probably about once a month. It's up to you. It depends on what your resources are and what the products you're using recommend. But you definitely wanna add some nitrogen and some micronutrients several times throughout the growing season. Here's tip number seven. If your citrus tree needs some water, make sure you give it a good slow drench. Then fill up your watering can with water, add some liquid seaweed or kelp, as well as a higher nitrogen fish fertilizer. In this case, I'm gonna be using the Holy Mackerel. It's a 3-1-1 fertilizer. That's really gonna give them a quick boost of nitrogen. That's gonna help your tree put on a whole new set of leaves and set some fruit. When you follow these seven tips for growing citrus trees in containers, the result will be a more vigorous and healthy plant that will produce some of the most delicious citrus fruit that you've ever had. There you go. Welcome back to New Garden Road. No. And leaf miners. And leaf. Give it some food. Gonna get it growing, y'all. I guess that's it. Check out some of these other awesome gardening videos on my channel, like this playlist for growing your own citrus fruit. You can grow your own food, keep it organic.